Hello everyone, welcome to the Coach Farrington Show. I'm your host, Orlando Wells. It's time to talk some Crusader football. Coach, I just want to commend you on an awesome game plan. I'm being a big football fan and up in the booth watching the game, I don't think we could have been any more prepared to play the Wofford game. What do you think about that? Well, we uh, work very hard, uh, as we do each week, and uh, we prepare the same for uh, Wofford College, and uh, just like this week with Tusculum, and the first week with Ave Maria, uh, each week's its own week, and we try to have that system of preparation and go about your business and and uh, learn how to, to work each day. Yeah, I tell you what I'm excited about. I'm excited about that when you look at the, the statistics, and um, statistics don't always tell the story, um, but if you look at it, um, it was 447 to 452. Five yards difference in that. Um, time of possession where Wofford usually dominates. Um, you know, they only had us by a minute. Um, I just, the game was so close. I mean, we were right there. I mean, a 15-point loss when we step up to play an FCF opponent. I, I don't think you could ask for a better result than that. We go in at halftime with a lead, 17-14. to 14. I'm thinking, it's upset Saturday already. You know, I just, I was thinking, man, maybe we can pull this one out. Um, I think we, you know, got a little tired at the end, the two lightning delays. I think it's a very unusual game. We've got a game that goes five hours. It was strange. I, I, that's the first one I've been involved. I've been on the front end of some delays uh, and think I have have been uh, in some at halftime was extended delays. But as far as, uh, man, we, we made several trips down to that field and back to the locker room many times. So I know how they feel maybe in the NHL with uh, two halftimes. So we were, it was a learning experience, but uh, we did, we played very hard. Uh, we didn't always play smart, but we gave get, uh, good effort. Uh, like to have uh, come up with a few more stops defensively. Uh, you got to give Wofford credit. They uh, adjusted on some things uh, with uh, how we were lining up to them, and, and uh, they just kind of powered us a little bit uh, after that, right before the, the last break, actually, and then the break kind of had the stoppage and came back. and, and um, they kind of had their way with a couple things and uh, wish we'd have been able to respond and, and do something about it. But uh, we, we fought hard. Yeah, I think we did. I think it's asking a lot of your defensive line with that power, um, that power, you know, look that they do with their option. Um, the thing, one of the things that I thought about was, you know, we lost Freddie Martino, a great receiver, um, but Robbie Brown comes in and has a breakout game. I mean, 13 receptions, 191 yards. I mean, who would have ever thought that? I mean, they just had no answer for him. Um, I was really impressed with Neil Hughes, the way he was throwing the ball against their zone, throwing it over the linebackers and dropping it in front of the safeties. I mean, just beautiful passes. Our receivers had some, I mean, if you missed that game, you missed a, a joy as far as receiving. And our receivers, I think maybe there's two passes of, in, the, in that inclement weather hit the ground. I mean, they were making some incredible catches. Well, Nelson, Nelson Hughes, and Nelson, Nelson sure. that's all right. Nelson uh, uh, is a good quarterback at any level, and, and uh, he understands the game. And, uh, and let me say this, our coaches do a great job on both sides of the ball. And, and uh, uh, offensively, uh, Joe Pizzo has, has uh, uh, put in uh, a system, and, and our coaches coach it up, and Nelson has taken to it right from the get-go. Yeah, he, he understands the game. Yeah, and uh, defensively, we our coaches worked a good plan. And he's able, Nelson's able to distribute that ball and see what the defense, the, the holes, and, and where to put it at the right time. And, and you know, he's been able to do that. And, uh, 369 so, not, you know, yards, 370 yeah. yards in a game. Yeah. Um, his stats, stat line from that game, uh, Nelson had 33 of 43 for 370 yards. and. Um, you know, he did have the two interceptions, and we want to get those back. But I'm telling you, it was just a beautiful, you know, beautiful thing to watch. And I thought our defense held their own. So I thought it was some, you know, outstanding performances um, by our guys in a tough level of competition. Well, it was, and we we've got to continue to uh, make progress. We've got to continue. You know, I mean, we we did not give up a sack. We were excited about that, but we got to find ways to run the ball for more yards. Our backs are running hard. We got to break a few more tackles, and we got to uh, because the, the the teams that we'll be playing is no different than Wofford. Yeah, they're Division Two, and they're not uh, Division One 
FCS, but the line of scrimmage is where the game's going to be won. Yes, and um, so defensively, we got to win the line of scrimmage. And offensively, we got to find a way to win the line of scrimmage. We've got some playmakers, as you can see, uh, at wideout, a quarterback. we got some DBs and linebackers. And, and all that works together on defense with the line of scrimmage, and it all works together offensively too. So we're continuing to try to move in that direction. Uh, we're not there yet, but um, you know we do have some positive signs where we're making a little progress. I just I think from a fan standpoint, I've always been a fan of North Greenville football since I've been here in 2008, and I was here for our run in 2011 when we had Willie Corn, but. To me, that was just an amazing game. I was really happy as a fan. And I know coaches, you always want to see improvement. Um, what improvements did you see last week that you, you felt like you, we, we did a better job? I know you mentioned that we didn't give up any sacks. Is there anything else that you felt like that we, you, we improved in? Well, we hung on to the football. Uh, you know, we laid the ball on the ground uh, five times against Ave Maria in the first game in the opener. Now, a lot of those uh, fumbles were, was um, from extra effort. And uh, Ave Maria did a good job of stripping the ball and knocking it loose some on extra effort. But, uh, you know, we got to hold on and protect the ball. Yes. big thing we wanted was ball security. Uh, yeah, we had a couple picks, and Nelson would love to have, uh, you know, I think he made two bad reads on uh, for the whole night, and uh, one of them for sure was on one pick. Uh, but, uh, and defensively, uh, one thing that we've got to, we're harping with them. We've got to improve is, is taking the ball away. You know, we the ball was on the ground one time. Ave Maria, we didn't get it. The ball was on the ground one or two times against Wofford, and we were, we were there, but we didn't get it. So, uh, you know, we want to win the takeaway battle. Usually it's a stat. You, you lose the takeaway battle, you're going to lose the football game. Yeah, you and, uh, plus so you we want to be plus in that area. And... Um, it kind of all works hand in hand. And we made some strides special teams wise, I thought. Uh, we did have a bad snap. We've got a freshman snapper. He's learning. The ball was wet and he lifted pretty high and that ball sailed over. But what a phenomenal job by our punter, Justin Gravely, the athletic move to get it off. <laughs> I said yeah. it on the air. It was a miraculous yeah, recovery great. to get that ball. There's three Wofford defenders there. The ball sails over his head. He's able to gather the ball in front of the three Wofford receivers and then punt off a 30 something yard punt. You know, it was uh, amazing. And, amazing and it, was, it was good to see us hit the two field goals. Yes, so uh, uh, that, that was a good thing. Well, um, uh, on the injury front, injury always changes the complexion of from week to week. Or any injuries that really concern you uh, coming up for this week? Uh, well, we, you know, we we're, uh, Ryan's is uh, our offensive tackle, left tackle started for us. Uh, he's uh, a little banged up right now. Uh, we'll have to see his status. Uh, Cromandy went down. He's a little banged up for us. We'll have to see his status on defensive line. But other than that. Uh, we got some uh, bumps and bruises that you'd normally have each week, and and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have everybody out uh, pretty soon practicing. Okay, this next week we're going to pivot and we're going to go to uh, the Tusculum Pioneers. We travel to uh, Greenville, uh, Tennessee this week um, for that trip. There, uh, coming off a four and seven season, um, they're one and one on this season. They uh, lost last week in tough loss to Elizabeth State. Uh, Elizabeth City State, uh, 18 to 10. Um, I was looking at the stats from last year's game. Seemed to be look kind of a, a type of a burn barn. If you if, if you look at, they jumped on us 21-7 in the first uh, the first quarter, and then we were able to come back in the second quarter and score 20 points, and we finally came out of there with a win, 39-36. Do you expect anything different from them this year as far as their offense or defensive schemes? They're, you know, they've lost a few players. Uh, defensively, they lost some players. Offensively, they lost uh, their quarterback, who uh, um, set all kind of records, set all kind of Division II records, uh, was All-American player, Harlan Hill uh, representative for the Region II, uh, and uh, was a very good player, very tough. Now, the offensive line, they got those guys back. Uh, got the running backs, uh, a couple of running backs back, some of the wide receivers. Uh, a lot of those guys are back. They've got a tight end that's like 6'10", 265, and he's a good football player. He's a weapon. They've got a redshirt freshman. They started at quarterback against uh, College of Faith in uh, Elizabeth City uh, State. 
And uh, the game last week against Elizabeth City State was in a torrential pour, and uh, it was just hard for them to get a hold on anything. But they, they're doing some of the similar stuff offensively. Defensively, they're getting a little bit more maybe 4-3 structure, uh, lost a couple linebackers and uh, moved some defensive linemen around, uh, play hard. So we'll have our hands full. The game last year was played in a – uh, it was rained as hard as I had seen it an hour before pregame warm up and and just rained until the middle of the second quarter and then it opened up and they actually jumped out on us 21 points in that rain and uh, then we kind of got our breath fought back got it even then got ahead and then they started getting some stops on us and hit a few plays on us and put some drives together and got tight again so uh but uh, you know who knows you know it's week to week and uh you might think this you might think that you've got to show up prepared you have to and, and you play these south atlantic conference teams which is just this is our last year of our scheduling alliance coach debusk and his staff do a great job uh they'll regroup after uh this past week and and uh, we've got to go up there and uh, they've got a nice place, and so uh, we got to be there and show up and uh, be a better football team this week than when we left that game over there in Spartanburg. Yes, sir. Well, I, I think that we, um, I think if we can put the effort that we put in the Wofford game the rest of the season, I think that bodes well for the season. I think our guys gave maximum effort, and uh, I'm looking forward to us doing good things this week at Tusculum. So um, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to do it. and. And from Orlando Wells, thank you for being with us at the Coach Farrington Show um, here on the campus of North Greenville University where Christ makes the difference. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Boy, I lost it, I'm foolish Running off with the tulips Probably wooing all the coolest Persecutors, the foes Catch me hanging with shooters, rumors